My name is Thomas, and with me here today is Ration. Yes, and together we're the Orange League, and we're gonna cast some pro game today. Yeah, yeah, we are. Let's dive right into it. And in the top right corner, it is Liquid Check playing the Red Wings under his Perf Happiness. And in the top left, we got our blue Protoss body, Val State. Yeah, as this has been just a practice match pre the last patch, it's still the low overload speed, still the non rate screens. Indeed it is, but we're in for, well, actually I don't really know what we're in for, because it is, as you just said, a practice match, so anything could happen. Yeah, but uh, we hope going to see some action here from these players. Yeah, indeed. I mean, we have seen Chef do a couple of, well, um, how would we call it? Aggressive builds, I would say. Yeah, aggressive builds indeed. So action is almost for certain when we watch a Chef game. Yeah, well, and we see in meanwhile, we see the pylon from Violet State putting up in his ramp, so probably not gonna early expand, force expand, because the pylon would be dropped down at, at his expansion, but it's not. He's gonna scout first, see if Six has that he's doing any Six pull happiness, but we know he's doing nothing like this of the sword. No, indeed, and the scout is right on the spot, by the way, because he found it right away. And meanwhile, we got a gateway going down. Indeed, at Val State side. He's gonna go for the wall of his, of his natural base. So Yeah, yes, and I think it's... Well, it's always a smart thing to do, a wall of when you're playing against a Zerg. Yeah, I mean, we will see the drone for shit going down, trying to do the expansion. Maybe it's gonna get blocked by Val State. Yeah, indeed, and the spawn oh. school, by the way, is going down as well. He dropped down the pylon and his natural expansion. Great block, great block. Just in time, and I think Liquid Chat is gonna, just gonna expand to the turret. Yeah, the drone is going down. He's probably gonna make an expansion. Yep, and while he's doing that, we see an Overlord slowly moving, uh, making his way into Foul State's main. And he's scouting everything that's going on there. Yeah, indeed, and seeing the gateway, producing a Zalat. Well, and if you look at Foul State, nothing really special is going on. I mean, he's um, a zealot is coming out of his gateway and no early expansion while well, the probe is hanging around there so I guess it's not gonna be too long before he is going to expand yeah he's put on the pylon maybe a uh, delayed wall in you never know Indeed. meanwhile the pylon still stands it's set natural a couple Ooh. of circlings coming out you see a force pulling down that can mean to the team. And a pylon and his, at his turret, does Shad know about it? Did he spot the uh, probe going in? I don't think he did, I don't think he did. He's out of vision, but maybe he saw the, spoke, uh, the probe walking down his turret. I hope Shad he did, because if he's gonna put down cannons at that south position... Well... That might be mayhem for his expansion there. It could be, it could be. You know, he took down the pylon at his natural. Yeah, and but we got that overlord scouting that forge, so maybe he is expecting something. Yeah, meanwhile, you got two pylons going down, and where are Shad circling, He's taking on Salad. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna oh. force a cancel? The Zerk is coming down. Yep, he sees his spidey sense will be right on. He sees the forge, he sees the probe move past here, he knows there must be something up. And if we look at the natural, we could see that a queen has taken out a couple of zealots. Couple. Interesting. Oh, ooh. Queen is being killed, but that's not gonna happen with the new patch now. The screen just with the increased range, this is still the old patch. Indeed, and meanwhile the zealot is hanging out there, but there the circlings are taking out a zealot. Meanwhile, Falset is going for double same later, adding another gateway, just walling off his his natural. Is it a complete wall? I think no. There's room for he's walling over the probe right now. By the way, did you see in the main that um, Valstead is still not ah? There he goes. Now he's finally starting to mine some gas. He did have the simulators, but he just didn't mine. No, but he's, he just think it didn't need it because Simon has quite it really really late because of that trying to canvas the turret business. Indeed, and meanwhile we got a few circlings checking out the natural. What's going on? Yeah, they're gonna run back really quickly. Because he's walled off completely with the Cybernet score right now. Well, and I don't think it was really necessary because he still had that Overlord hanging perfectly, perfectly in place. Yeah, but if you're gonna get 
past there you just as protest if you have circus in your base it's just so much trouble in the early game oh it is so much trouble i mean what oh. no. but meanwhile we're seeing set just starting to micro up now he's got his three bases he's he uh pretty sure his protest buddy file says not gonna do anything for just about a, a few minutes because Sabino is only cut down, he's not gonna have much units. He, he knows, I think, he only has got two gateways. Yep, yeah, and two stalkers taking down the Overlord, by the way. So, I think we can safely say that um, taking out that scout ha is quite a big thing because, well, yeah, Seth has no vision of his base right now. No, he doesn't, but he knows there's not gonna come any, any pressure for a f couple of minutes because. Just, just file said it's just starting to do, so it should be safe. Yeah, Still only true. droning and droning up, sending a few drones over to the expansion. Uh, there we go, metabolic boost coming out. So, and if we look at file state, he has started the Protoss ground weapons, so level one. Yeah, and a, another warp gate is coming out. Maybe he's gonna go for the. Uh hey, and did you see the Twilight Council? Oh. Twilight Council went behind Dark Templars. Went behind Goat CB DT, but he can also go for the Blink play. But I don't. I think he's gonna go for Blink because he's getting the plus one weapons as well. Yeah, I agree. I think he's gonna go for Blink indeed. Or maybe for the early plus two and then make push with it to split. The play. No, he's gonna go for Blink. That's it. Yeah, yeah, we definitely gonna try to do some nice blink macro and kind of kill one of set expansion at best probably maybe going for the plus two weapons and then go in with blink and mm -hmm. see what you can do chef meanwhile adding two more assimilators in his third and <laughs> adding the melee attack uh, rate and then it's interesting when he's gonna plan down of when you're gonna go to the rose production with because if those blink stalkers come into your base you have to cut a few rows up that's true, that's definitely true. And if we look at it, uh, Shed has started his attack plus one. Indeed. And now those will just start dropping in just right on the timing. Knows when his opponent's gonna. Five more gateways. Ooh, we're gonna see if how many gateways we got. Six seven. more gateways, by the way. I'm sorry, I miscounted. Seven gateways. We're gonna see an all in blink play from File State here. Yep. Adding the Twilight Count Temple Archive for maybe some. Uh, Archons, but I think for some Archons or Storm, maybe both is possible. But is that produce? Oh, 28 Zerglings in production. 28 Zerglings in production. <laughs> it's gonna shut out the blink so so very hard. Zerglings uh, popping we out. We got a couple of Stalkers in the middle of the map taking control of the Stelnaga Watchtower, and a pylon is being placed right beside it. Zergling so gonna run out. Oh. Kills a few more, but that's gonna take those circlings. 12 roses in the production now. But is he gonna go for the Templar? Because the Templar archives are there. Yeah, no, it just going for Argon. Templar Storm Research is too long away to make a push right now, so it has to go for a few Archons. Archon Stone, just a really painful suck. Everything is biological, and Archons do immense damage against biological units. And he's here we see an engagement. Can Chess get a good No, good blink off getting away and now she has sees the Archons gonna pull away for a make a f gonna research Pearl which is the uh, guy was shooting for Rotet and just gonna wait for her uh, just gonna wait, wait for file state to make his move and there we see it blinking back again but he's He's luring Chet into. Oh, is he gonna take down the pile on this, or is he? Ooh, that, and that pile goes down, shutting down the reinforcements. Yep. And delaying the push even more. Well, and if we look at um, Chet's army, it's getting huge. Indeed, it is. I mean, he's only at. What is he at? 158. 182. 50. We see 89 army supply for Chet and 48. 54 file state. And by the way, Psionic Storm is going down. Yeah, but and it's, it's gonna be too late. We're gonna big surround circuits running in from the left side, rotates from the right. 
even got some circles on standby. If you take manage to take down some two archons, is he's in really good shape. It? Is he gonna make it? Well, we got a few infected into the play and he's expand he's put it on a macro heart as well in the meantime. Ooh, a storm eats his road and it it's just gonna clean up the army, but set a reinforcement and I don't see any reinforcement for file state. That is true, that is true. However, um Valstead is in a strong spot. Gotting his uh, psionic storm done by yeah, now. Indeed. And he got a He's gonna stand mining from the turret, but Chess is just gonna put down the aggression. Yeah, he is. Ah, uh, with so many roaches. He's burrowed burrowed. And no observers around. Was and we got really no detection above that army. He's trying to well, place down a cannon, but it gets denied. Blink Sork is gonna get fungled. Chat is just gonna push him back. Yeah, he is gonna push him back, but I wonder, I wonder, does he? Oh, oh great storms, great play storms. Storms make the roads pull back. If you see, the roads are really getting low health now, but Chat is making more offensive, more circlings, just streaming on units, and oh, blinking in, killing off the road. By the way, as we look at his upgrades going down right now. We can see that the ground carapace is, is going down level one. Yeah, but the process is, is just resisting more and more armor. circles. Keep coming in with another infester. Oh, great fungal on the stalkers. Can the stalkers warping in a couple of zealots? Is it enough? Is it enough ration? I think it is. It's it's just it's Seth has just had his huge bank up before this engagement and Seth that is true. struggling in to warp in some units that is definitely true and if we look at the food count right now we can see that it's 65 against 138 and yeah, that's just overwhelming just way more bigger for Seth that's just overwhelming he's just trying to contain his opponent he's trying to push file state but not letting him take a turret and just starve him to death because his main is well pretty much mine out it's Expansion is still going strong, but and as we watch this, um, Shed's army is slowly but surely moving into his um, natural, taking out those well few annoying stalkers we could say. Yeah, the Arkham doing huge damage here, getting the kills on the road. doing this plastic. Ooh, Arkham's getting target down, and pushing. Ah, uh, if he's gonna kill this problem, that must be it. Yeah, that has to be it. I mean, pulling away his broken. Okay, and that's the GG. Yeah, just. Felstead tried to make a go for it with a blink stalker, but just got pushed back by this army of sets and his big bank to replace his army. Yeah, indeed he did. And well, I am wondering if his storm had finished earlier, what would he have done? Could he have had a better spot to be in at that moment? I think he went to in it. He tried to do fortune and came in too early because he was behind with his stack because he tried to cannon the third. His, his Simon X score okay, okay, so Simon X score came down late. So Yuna's production was starting late, so Shad just could drone up, drone up, drone up. Yeah, indeed, and that's, well, his drone count was, was it almost similar, if we could watch it? Yeah, 71 drones. Yeah. Those are red like numbers, I mean. Yeah, he just could drone up and wait with his rose production really late, just because he saw that seven is going down, going so late. And just yeah, Shad couldn't make, uh, Shad could just expand. And if we watch it in the end, during the attack, uh, Shad had placed Another expansion, his fourth went down. Yeah, it is. But that's just, he had the money to do stuff. Yeah, indeed, he had he the He had money. his opponents on two bases. Yeah, I mean, if you look at his money, 982, that's that's a hell of a lot of money. That's a bank. That's a great bank. Yeah, and just, I know that before the first engagement with the Blink Stalkers, he had, I think it was about 1500 minerals and a nice amount of gas stacked up. Just enough money to instantly replace his army. And his opponent's file, so just had only about one army and no money to replace it so no 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 indeed so well that's where great it. victory for Seth yeah I think yeah. so yeah it does file state uh, next time just make sure what opening was do it was hinking on two games and I got gonna go to cannon rushing I'm gonna go open with some zealots yeah and that's, and that's just slow this tech down too much yeah that really does slow you down indeed and I mean, if we look at um, a few of the basics of playing StarCraft, it's mainly just pick one strategy to go with. Yeah, just pick one, go with it, just if needed, but just don't go one opening into another opening. Yeah, that won't work, that definitely won't work. And 
we got an example of that right here. Yeah, okay, that wraps us this game, and yeah, uh, that wraps it hope up. to see you guys next time. Yeah, see you next time.